welcome back to uh, Dark Souls 2 as I play it and all the action and I try to bring you some commentary of the differences between Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. Of course you see it as I play it. I don't edit it. I just record my voice and the gameplay at the exact same time and I upload it to show you how a veteran such as myself dies all the time because this game is completely and a hundred percent brand new to me you will die a lot the developers made the game to tell you you do not know Dark Souls like they know how to make it As always, I've got my beer here with me, I've got my controller, and I've got Dark Souls 2. So let's continue on where we left off. If anything, I would say that this game, the gameplay has been adjusted for certain. It's the same basic Dark Souls that you know and that you love, but they've changed a lot of the... They haven't they changed a lot of the rules. They've adjusted the rules. So, it is like a new game. Uh, it's different. It's new. Like, you don't know where the enemies are. You're not used to their patterns. It's all brand new. So, if you think you know how to play Dark Souls, you're going to relearn that you don't. Uh, in this game. As you can see, I have one Estus flask going through the same portion of the game, and I just lost all my fucking souls. Healing is very, very hard to do. Uh, you may kill 10 enemies and get one life gem. Which is a consumable that cannot be recharged in the game. So I've got to relearn. Also, oh shit. So the amount of time you're invincible, such as. Uh, backstabs and picking up items is gone. If you are picking up an item, you are vulnerable. If you're backstabbing or doing any other item action that you would normally think that you're vulnerable to, you're dead wrong. Everything leaves you invulnerable. I, I, I even think the rolling and dodging the iframes have been re the re been reduced. Uh, they gathered data, I would say, based on how we played and how we made the game easy just by experience. And... Uh, and they tweaked it. Alright, so raising your shield comes into play when it comes to uh, like defending attacks. Rolling, you don't automatically roll. There's a there's a split second that it takes to roll when you're when you're attacking. 
there was a backstab. So if you've been attacked, or you're attacking, it takes it takes longer to perform a roll. Uh, for new players. Oh shit. I'm not getting fucking shit for life gems. I don't know how I'm gonna pass this. Uh. Maybe a ranged weapon would probably be. See that? Now, I died right there, but I was in the middle of an attack, so the roll could not happen where I thought it would happen. So you have to relearn uh, how to attack, and when your attack animation is going, you're not going to be rolling. I would say this game uh, is slower with the attacks and rolling. See that that attack got through and it is it, fucking it fucking wrecked me. It really did. I have I have little little life left and one Estus flask. Oh my god. For all the people that thought Dark Souls 2 was going to be easy, I say... Oh, I say eat a shit sandwich because this is not easy at all. You can take a little bit, a little bit of what you know about Dark Souls One, and apply it, and that's the the core mechanics. Uh, that's button pressing. That's uh, you know uh, dodging, maybe a little bit of uh, attacking. What stamina does? What vitality does? But everything else, you can just put in your pipe and smoke it because everything here is new. It, this is a new game. This is uh, a game that you should probably have trouble with. Yep, I think I should have got a life gem there because I am out of life gems. Uh, when you take a hit on your shield, there's no shields at the beginning of the game unless you maybe pick, pick a different class that allows you to block 100% damage. So, with the class I picked, I picked the Explorer which is probably a bad class to pick, maybe. But every attack that hits me takes off damage. So I have to learn to roll, uh, but rolling takes up stamina. Stamina uh, takes a while to recharge. And uh, if you don't have stamina, you can't do anything. I'm guessing right. These should be life gems. But I have none. You have to definitely. Nope. Not. Not shit. You definitely have to manage your stamina a lot in this game. You're not going to tank 
uh, attacks. You're going to dodge them. You're going to have to dodge attacks uh, to and not by like dodging with the the B button. I'm saying not get hit because dodging takes stamina. Taking hits takes stamina and health in the beginning. And I guess the point here is not to get hit. And so you will not be able to attack said enemy if you have no stamina and no health. So the best bet is to either kill everyone so your stamina recharges or just not take hit, not take hits. Uh, the recovery between between uh, the the recovery between at when you hit someone and or when you block and then when you hit is increased. So when you attack someone, you can't just raise your shield. You have to wait for the animation to uh, stop before you can effectively block. I have no idea where the fuck that guy came from, but he, oh my god. So, when you attack someone, there's a recovery phase before you can raise your shield and block. It's not instantaneous, or almost in instantaneous anymore. Uh, there's a little bit of delay. Uh, maybe up to a second, depending on where you start your counter. But, when you attack someone, you're wide the fuck open for attack. And that's true talk. That's coming straight from me. That's coming straight from the person that's me, alright? Also, you can't just, if they're in a long hallway, like that, you can't just attack through them. block and I have to use a life jam no there's a there's another motherfucker that comes around here and I do not appreciate him I see <laughs> So, you've seen enough of my death for now. I'm going to take a deep, couple deep breaths and I will be back on the next episode because I am getting my ass fucking stomped. So, thanks for watching and we will catch you on the